Hi, hi, hi. How you doing? Country lady here. Today, I am just going to highlight one of the plants. Uh, I think it's a medicinal plant. At least that's what our grandparents used. Very versatile plant. I have it potted. No, it's not this easy plant. It's this one here. We call it... How do you call it? How do you know it? It's part of the cacti family. Right? We call it cochineal. This plant can grow up to six feet tall and four feet wide. Right? It has these, what I call airs. I don't know the right term for it. All right? And it can grow from one of these. Yeah? It can grow from just having one of these because I had just a small one. And the small one turned into this one here. Right? Okay? So our grandparents call it cochineal i want to believe the word is a part war word right our grandparents used to speak part war. they never taught it to us because i guess they did not want us to know what they were saying another reason why they never taught it to us was because it was considered uh backward or that you uh Poor, that you are no class if you spoke patwa. That's what the colonizers made them believe. So quite a lot of our cultural heritage have been lost because the colonizers made uh, the enslaved people think that their culture was no good, right? They were stripped. Our grandparents were stripped of their cultural heritage inside this pot i also have a bodex stomach bodex stomach yeah part work again and it simply means you know good for the stomach yeah so right back to the cochineal um back in the day Women would use it or the gel from it. There is a gel inside of it, right? There is a gel inside of it. And women use the gel as a conditioner for the hair. The Rastafarian also used it to lock the hair. So no unnatural chemical in their bodies. It is also used as a cooling yeah, grandparents used to make it and give you to drink. Maybe one of these days I will show you how they did it. When you had lesions on your skin or when you had rashes on your skin, they would say, you know, you need cooling. And so they would give you it to drink. It is also used as... Uh, for arthritis they would warm it and they would uh, tie it onto the affected area or joint that was pain in them yeah joint pain and so on so i have this cochineal plant and um, maybe i should transplant it so that it could continue to grow as big as it should but um, I consider it a versatile plant. You know, I think that sooner or later, we should be going back to the soil based on what's going on now. We have just come out from a pandemic. And it seems as though we're probably heading into another one. Hopefully not. We have the pox emerging again so we would have to definitely go back to the soil go back to our natural 
resources and so on, right? The the cochineal has very very tiny prickles. I'm trying to locate one so you can see. Uh, they have very very tiny here like prickle. Perhaps you can get it from here, but they would attach themselves to your skin and it would itch. So in handling it, you have to be very careful how you do it. So maybe next video I would talk about or try to prepare some and I would taste it as well. I've never tasted it. Or oh, one more thing, if you're not used to those things, those natural herbs and so on, perhaps you should not use it without consulting your physician all right so i don't want to make this video too long like share subscribe and comment tell me what you think about this video all right bye bye